just two games left to complete the lineup for the third round at the Happy Bet German Darts match play. And it's a double Dutch affair in the penultimate match of the night before we get to see the world number one Michael van Gerwen take to the stage against John Henderson. It is MVG's best man at his wedding, Vincent van der Voort, the man who knocked out Adrian Lewis in round one in a baffling game of darts where we saw Lewis go seven darts into the perfect nine, then eight darts into the perfect nine and miss double 12. But unfortunately, he'd already gone 5-0 down by that point. And it just proved too much for him. He was beaten 6-4 by Big Vincent, the Dutch destroyer. He's taking on Big Ben. Benito van der Pass, a former finalist, two-time finalist on the Euro Tour, but yet to claim a maiden Euro Tour title. Vincent's won one. Won one in Austria a few years back, beating Jamie Caven in the final. And these two did meet at this tournament in the... Insel Park Haller here in Hamburg last year. That was at the third round stage. Benito van der Pas got the better of Vincent van der Voort. It is boiling hot here. It is hotter First leg, than Benito the Steve Beaton swimwear first. calendar 1996. Our referee is George in the 11th and final leg, Noble. And a lot of 11 leggers today. And Paul Nicholson in the commentary box for me, Dan Dawes. 26. Well, I for one have the 1995 calendar. And it wasn't as hot as the 96. Oh, the 96 is, that's the canon in terms of the Steve Beaton sexy calendars. 134. I'm not ashamed to say the last calendar I bought was Girls Aloud. Well, maybe you should be ashamed. <laughs> well, I spy with my little eye some new darts in Big Ben's hand. And we haven't seen that in a little while. New flights on the end of Vincent van der Voort's darts. Hmm. They're pretty. 100. Yeah, it just looks like a new set. Very much the same dart as before, just sparkling brand new. 140. Darts don't last forever. Well, you know, it might be a conscious decision from Benito, knowing how hot it is in here. I mean, it is stifling. 100. And with it being very hot up on stage, just a new set of darts with fresh grip might just make the difference with that odd visit. It doesn't slip out your hand so much. That might have been the reason uh, behind Peter Wright using a new set in the last three. game. This is your 167. I, I was speaking with Peter actually about it. I'll tell you about that. But Vincent, looking to set this up now, oh, sets it up very, very well. And Benito's Benito looking at a massive one just to hold his throw in the opening leg here. He's not going to do it. Vincent van der Voort starting this match like he did against Adrian Lewis last night. Average in the mid-90s in the end, 36. Vincent. Hit four 180s in the process. Adrian hit seven. I'm lucky for some. Are you sure to the first leg? I'm lucky for Big Ben as double 18 goes in for Vincent van der Voort. And Second leg, Vincent to the He does first. break the throw. Game on. Yeah, Adrian Lewis. Not the only person to throw seven 180s in a match this weekend and lose. Dirk van Dijvenbode managing that quite astonishing feat earlier on today. In a thriller with Mensor Sulevic. Maybe he should have hit it. Well, couldn't have hurt, could it? Although, the record on Euro Tours for number of 180s in a match is jointly held. 100. By Michael Smith, who hit nine, and Darrell Gurney, who hit nine. Michael Smith managed to lose that game with nine 180s. To Josh Payne, that was at the Dutch Darts Masters. We were talking about it in the practice room earlier on. Darrell Gurney insists that he should get an extra point because he managed to win his game with nine 180s. Michael Smith wasn't no, having it. Extra point? Yeah. This isn't American football well, no. where you have to kick through the goal after you hit a touchdown. No, but they share the record. Could it be beaten? Well, it could. 60. 10 can be done. You can have 11 legs. One a leg. Yeah. Pretty doable. You throw five consecutive nine darts. You know, 10 180s. Very Still true. lose 6 5. Very true. <laughs> and there's one of them. Benito van der Pass with the first maximum of this one. Well, Vinny got a break of through on the last leg. Oh, what a reply. Well, the heat is playing tricks on the voice of George Norville. There's Bull. Can he have a 25? 
Oh. Can he do it? it Champagne looks... shot. It looks good. Oh, it just skewed off. I think it was the dart in the 25 that he's clattered off. What a shot it would have been, but this one's not bad. The Della. 58. 32 for 43. 43. Benito likes double 16, so we're probably looking at 11. That is 11. Double 16 for 1 1. 1 1 it is. Great shot straight away. Great pass from Big Ben. Third leg, Benito to throw first. Game on. So you were talking to Peter in the practice room? Yes. The dart. So the new darts, very similar to the previous set he was using. The only difference is that he doesn't have some grip on the front of him. 140! And he says that he found that when he was going for doubles, the darts weren't dipping into the double as he expected. So what he's done, although they're the same weight overall, 100. there's a little bit more weight at the front because they haven't cut the grooves out of it. So it's a little bit more front-weighted, only fractions. But he believed, he confidently predicted earlier on that, that he would average no less than 110. Now, in the end, he's never done four. But that is what Peter Wright does. He also took the rather strange step of grabbing my notebook and writing a personalised message in it, saying, watch this space, two exclamation marks, new darts will take over the world, signed Snakebite Wright. He is convinced that this tiny little change is going to make all the difference. 100. When he writes things like that, he's, he's trying to tell us that he's Mr. Buckethead. When? <laughs> he's the one that was standing next to Theresa May in that election. Wow. Oh. Hang about. 100. Well, Vincent Vanderbilt making that trouble 20 bed look like a bucket, filling it up with ease. Well, we both know that Peter Wright wants to take over the world darts, but there's still a lot of people in this tournament who can do that very thing this weekend. And Van der has been playing really well. 1-2-1 one, one after 9, solid stuff, better than solid really, 11, bullseye, ooh, he's scared it, scared it a lot, Benito requires 72, puts pressure on the 72 for Benito to hold, now, treble 16, I would think it'd be the ruse, maybe treble 12, no it is the 16s, and that leaves double 12, now double 6, and there it is, it is in the double 6, Ball flag, Vincent to throw first. Game on. Well, two breaks of throw at the start of the match. And the first hold from Benito, the number five seed. One hundred and first. Winner of this one will play Joe Cullen, who had a very good performance late this afternoon against Justin Pipe. Yeah, Justin Pipe was averaging 99 for the first four legs of that, and he was 4-0 down. Cullen was doing a job on him. Easy five. And I have to say, I'm... I, Hugely impressed with how Joe Cullen has gone about his business so far this year. I think he's getting better and better. But it, it could well be 60. a big weekend for Joe Cullen. But we can say that about a number of the guys in this field. Of the people we've seen so far, who are the ones that have really impressed you, Paul? Joe really did impress me this afternoon. And I was talking about how much work and effort Justin was putting into his throw. I just look at the way that Joe throws and it looks very easy right mm. now. And that's a quality that you really need on One days like tomorrow. Speaking about making it look easy, Van der Voort's back in the 180s again. Yeah, well, he hit four against Adrian Lewis. He's already hit three here, only in the fourth leg. And Vincent Van der Voort... Easy five, is your record uh, 27. Very much an underestimated player. I mean, look, he's won one of these Euro Tour titles. He's a former major finalist. He, I remember him scaring the life out of Phil Taylor in the quarterfinal of the World Championship a few years back. When he's on it, and he, he doesn't seem to be having any back problems, he's not doesn't seem to be playing with any pain. When he is pain-free, he's so dangerous. It's not often that Benito van der Pass is the shorter of the Benito two on stage. 72. Big Vin, 72, top 16. Another 16 for tops. Tops it is. That he is absolutely wonderful Vincent from Vincent van der Voort. Really Benito good stuff. Ropers. This game is turning into a proper game. But people are fancy this weekend. I'll tell you what, Vincent's going into that, that corner pretty quickly. But uh, yeah, I like Joe Cullen. 59. Peter looks ominous. We haven't mm. seen MVG yet. No. No, we haven't. But we've seen very good display from Michael Smith earlier 57. following up his 
Victory in Gibraltar. Mervyn King caught the eye. Daryl Gurney looked pretty good he in the did. early on this afternoon. He did. It was not spectacular in terms of the averages, but he had four 180s in that victory over oh, Jimmy Hendricks and a 6-1 win. You would think that Daryl Gurney being the first person through to Sunday, it was probably tucked up in bed right now. Now you see the averages, both in the mid to high 90s. Decent stuff here. The finishing has been good from these two. One hundred. You've got to think that after last night, Vincent taking out Adrian Lewis, he's probably said to himself as he's gone to bed, you know what, if I can take him out, I can take them all out. One hundred. Why can't I win this tournament? And I can't think of a single reason why not. Because when he puts in performances like that, he can. Mm -hmm. Done it in the past. No, Austria Darts Open champion. A few years ago, Vincent van der Voort. Won it twice, didn't he? Once, not as a European event, and once as a European Tour event. Ah, yes, he has won in Austria as well. 60. I only, I only business with the European Tour, it's current incarnation, Paul. And we're going there in a couple of weeks, and he will be there. Mm. Back in Vienna. Now then, Benito, tops for a 1-1-4, and the finishing Benito. continues Benito. to be good in this game. game this is turning into a right Dutch tear up, isn't it? Can't split them right now, really. It's on throw, so you'd think that Van der Voort will have the advantage here. Good start with a 1-2-5. One hundred and twenty-three in response. Just rattle through some of the games we've got coming up for you tomorrow, but hang about. Oh, Vincent filling it up again. Yes, he is. Already, Vincent van der Voort has hit four 180s in this match. He's hit eight this weekend. And I'll tell you what, in a game that is so tightly contested, why are we surprised? It's George and the 11th and final leg noble we're talking about. We could be going all the way once again. 60. That's the 60, believes the 136. Yeah, it's looking very much like 3-3. Three, three. However, if Benito fills this up... 135! It would have made him think. He's left to finish. 36 is another one of those. And a double eight. Ooh! 120! And he fancied that. Benito, you're going 148. So did I. I thought that was going in. Well, we've seen the finishing get better and better as this game has gone on 72 a brace of them a 114 and very nearly a 136 or a 148 in this leg in the end it's going to be a small checkout that these guys need to complete this leg but for three apiece it's double eight and there it is 13 data for Vincent van der Voort and we cannot separate these two after six legs of dart Manito van der Pass the number five seed but we've not seen many seeded players knocked out of the tournament. The, the, big, the big name was James Wade, the defending champion, who was lacklustre, to say the least, in being knocked out by Kyle Anderson. We saw Yella Klaassen dumped out by fellow former Lakeside champ Stephen Bunting. And, of course, this afternoon, the only seeded player to be knocked out was the number eight seed Kim Hybrex, who missed eight match darts against Peter Hudson, who could well turn out to be the surprise package of this weekend. Hudson will be playing tomorrow against Alan Norris. Well, in this game, the way it's going, it's going to probably be one mistake that 100. costs them the match. One mistake or maybe one moment of brilliance. I'd rather see the moment of brilliance. Certainly would. Not going to wish any pain on anybody on that hockey. Do you not revel in that? You know, yeah, fellow pro, these guys, you, know, you want to see some psychological damage done to them just in case you play them next time and they might be just marginally weaker. I don't mind it when they're, I'm playing oh, against them. Right. But when I'm up here, I'm nice and neutral. I'm like a liberal democrat. <laughs> now then. Bullseye. Oh, he's not going for it, is 95. he? Benito letting us all down when we wanted a big bullseye finish. But he'll leave himself double 16 and after... 60. Benito, big Vincent put in a 13 darter in the last leg. Benito is looking to respond in kind. Oh. 
Lining him up outside. No score. Did look difficult, but Vincent can't finish 1-7-1, no matter how well he's playing. So Benito will have another crack at that. Vincent will gnaw. 97. He's really Benito chasing Benito at 32. this point. And he's praying for a little mistake. He's wanting Benito to do exactly what he did in the last visit and just miss. But he's not going to do that now. Seven flag. Benito van der Vincent to throw first. Lethal finish Demon. from Benito. And Vincent's got to continue to chase. Yeah, well, it has been a couple of breaks to start this match and then 60. five consecutive holds of throw. Real Dutch battle. You see that glistening forehead of the 24-year-old Benito. It is, I can't stress to you how uncomfortable. It's like playing in Dubai here at the Intel Park Hallow in Hamburg. Does that give an advantage to the guys who played there? Well, the rights didn't help James Wade. I think the way James played today, no disrespect to him whatsoever, but the way things went for him, he needed a lantern with a genie inside it. Well, he certainly needed more than he had this evening. James Wade, the defending 16. champion, dumped out. The tournament is in its third iteration. The first year, it was in Austria. That was won by Michael Van Gerwen. Last year, it was won by James Wade. Will we see a new name on the trophy or will MVG go on and claim this for a second time and win a 16th European Tour title? Four times as many as his next 45. nearest competitor, Peter Wright and Phil Taylor and Michael Smith, all on four over their careers. And if Michael Van Gerwen does win this weekend, does that mean in Vienna they're going to call him out? John McDonald's actually going to be in Vienna. He is, yeah. So is he going to call the 16-time <laughs> European Tour winner? Oh, he'd love another one. Not quite a fifth 180 for Vincent van der Voort, but this is a chance for a break of throw. 18s he wants. Staying on the 18s. Bullseye! 61. Could have been a game changer that time. And as it stands now, van der Voort can stay in the hunt with tops. Two dots for it. Lovely guide. There he she is. Van der Voort still in the match to the delight of the crowd. They wanted to go 11 legs. There's only one person who doesn't, and that is George. Oh, yeah. The puppy noble. He may have it taken out of his hands. You could see there. Oh, now there. One scored after two darts. Saves himself with that last dart. You see there from Vincent. He took a little moment for his first dart at tops. You know how important it was. But once that one was there as a guide, no hesitation at all. Just followed it with the final dart, pins the double top. And he's just played with a sort of ease about him so far this weekend. You can see, look at this, really neat and tidy stuff. Everything in five visits to the board, apart from the last two legs, which have taken six. 93. We mentioned the game with Adrian Lewis on many occasions over the last 24 hours. We haven't really talked about 60. Vincent van der Voort's winning interview with Elmer Polka on the <laughs> stage. It was very cagey, to say the least. Yes, it was. He, he didn't really want to commit to any answers, having kind of come a cropper in a previous what? interview on stage. Oh, as Benito, no! that is only his second 180, but it pushes his average up to just under the 100 mark. Oh, 180 here from Vincent. What? And he has, you know. No! 180, 180 from Benito, 170. 180 back from Vincent, both on huge finishes. And it's on. It is on. Oh, just misses the ball for another 170 this weekend. Well, this would be quite special. Oh, good effort. What a passage of play those last four visits were. But Benito van der Pass once again. He's going to get darts at a double to hold his throw and edge closer to the final day. Double four. And he there it is. Flag. You could see Benito there just before Came hitting on. that double four, just gritting his teeth a little bit, just saying, come on, let's get this hit. Well, we have seen 16. the odd dart missed here and there on their own throw, but they've only been missing them when the other guy has been miles away. When, it's come to, when they've had to hit it, they've been hitting it. 
it's, these guys have been nerveless on their own throw. And it's led knot. to a, a fascinating encounter here. It's one that Benito has just continually just kept kept getting his nose in front. He only trailed after that first leg when he was broken. And since then, he's been level or one leg ahead right the way through. Well, what he has done is he's pretty much got the darts here. He can strike this treble 19 a couple of times, or even the treble 18. And that's hitting home the advantage that he has wrestled from Big Vinny. Vincent needs to find. Well, he, he may. Oh, yeah, just 85. But, you know, if he could find a sixth 180 with his next visit, he might need to. A ton 40 would get him down to a Shanghai. But Benito van der Pass is going to be on a finish of some sort. Oh, superb stuff. Leaves himself a two darter for an 11 dart leg and a 6 4 victory. And very, Vincent, very impressive. Oh, needs a treble. Doesn't. Not that one. Not that one. Benito van der Pass edging all the way through this game, closer and closer to a place in the third round. And now he has his chance. Staying there on the treble 20, I would think. He does. Double 10. Easy. One match dart missed. We have seen a number of players, six in fact, miss match darts and get knocked out of the tournament this weekend. Kim Hybrex was one of them today. 29. The number eight seed missing eight match Benito darts. Benito has missed one. My word. Ten. My word. This is your require 180. Hold on a minute. That wasn't part of the plan, said Benito. 118. 60. For double 19. Oh, it's there! Van der Voort! What a shot when he needed it the most! Hamburg is on its feet, and George Noble's doing another 11 leg shootout. And I, for one, am delighted because that was iron ring stuff from Vincent van der Voort. 118 to save his skin. But he still needs to find a break of throw. The sweat pouring off oh, the Dutch no, 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 destroyer. No, 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 no. And he kicks off ton 40. Unbelievable stuff. I am really enjoying this game. Just as much as Vincent's last game against Adrian Lewis. He is delivering 60. this weekend drama at its best. Well, we said it could be mistakes that end up deciding this game. It could be a moment of brilliance. We've seen some mistakes from Benito van der Pass, but a 6 180 from Vincent van der Voort. Wow. Wow. You just want to sit back and enjoy it, don't you? It's a shame it's got to end, but it's going to end in the next two minutes or so, even less than that. Oh. Good end in four darts. Wow, Van Vincent van der Voort. Unbelievable. You're talking about iron ring stuff. The last 12 darts he has thrown have been nothing short of absolutely astronomical. 45. 118 checkout to save his skin, having survived four match darts. Ton 40, ton 80, 165, double eight. A quite spellbinding blast from Vincent van der Voort to come back from the dead and defeat Benito van der Pass. He has revenge for his defeat to Benito here last year. And the Dutch destroyer is in the third round. He will face Joe Cullen and what a tantalizing prospect that is tomorrow afternoon. The number five seed Benito, another player to mismatch darts and go out of the tournament. A moment of brilliance from Vincent van der Voort with the 1-1-8. And even Vincent, with all his experience, he knows how good that was. A 10 data to win it. Let's hear from the big Dutchman <laughs> yes. before MVG takes to the stage to round off today's action at the Happy Bet European Darts Match Play. Yes. Yes. I was sure actually he would, he would win this thing. He had a couple, how many matches did he have? Five? What? Did he have five match darts, Benito? Yes. Ich muss das erklären, nein, ich explain that. Vincent hatte zuletzt, weil er sich nicht ganz sauber ausgedrückt hatte, eine Verwarnung bekommen. Er hat gestern gesagt, ich muss sehr gut nachdenken darüber, was ich jetzt sage. Ich antworte nur noch mit Ja oder Nein. Er zieht das tatsächlich durch. Um, what can I ask? <laughs> And his, his smile on his face. 
<laughs> uh, what should I ask him? Do you enjoy playing darts as we right now? Yes. 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 Do you love reaching the the third round here? Yes. 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 Happy with with the one. Happy with actually 180. You, you check the 180, and you're happy with that, right? Oh yes. Yes. And a great last leg, 11 darts. Huh? No, 10 darts. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Vincent, thank you very much. <laughs> Vincent van der Voort. He just said yes! <laughs> <laughs>